morning. Thank you for joining me today. Obviously, this vlog will be titled um, like a morning class, but you can practice it at any time through the day. The things we will be doing, they will be. I will be starting nice and slow and then building up into a flow, getting ready for our day. So it is completely applicable throughout the day, but it's a really nice way to start, um, start the day as well. So hopefully you enjoy it. For this class, we are going to start on our backs. So wherever you are, just find your way, find your way down. Your feet can stay on the mat. You can let the knees roll in together. You can tuck the shoulder blades in a little bit so the palms can face the ceiling. Or maybe you bring one hand to the belly, one hand to the chest. And just start to notice your body, just becoming aware of the whole body, so starting at the toes, moving all the way up the legs. All the way up the body, down into the hands, and up to the crown of the head. Just becoming aware of where you sit in time and space. And then becoming aware of the breath. Maybe noticing the inhalation and exhalation. Maybe we'll take one big breath together, in through the nose, open the mouth, sigh out. Closing the mouth and go back to breathing through the nose if it's comfortable for you. Trying to create a slow, steady pattern of breathing to carry you through your practice. Keep it going for a few more rounds of breath. Good, nice slow, steady breath. On your next inhalation, draw the knees in towards your chest, place the hands on the knees. And as you exhale, you can send the knees out wide towards Big a circle as you can, and then drawing the knees all the way back in. Keep it going a few more times. Exhale, send the knees round. The inhale, draw them in. Good. And then maybe you swap sides. So you can next draw the knees in towards your chest and you send them back the way they came, taking them out wide, drawing them in. Good. A few more times. Good. Next, drawing the knees in towards the chest. Send the arms out wide or cactus the arms if you've not got as much room. Take an inhalation and as you exhale, send the knees over to the right. Gaze goes to the left. Try not to drop the knees all the way down. Try and hover them a few inches off the floor, keeping both shoulders on the mat. Inhale back to neutral. Exhale, take it the other way, so legs to the left, gaze to the right. Don't let the legs drop down, keep them a few inches off the mat so you're staying nice and active, shoulders pressing into the mat. You inhale, back to neutral, send the feet down. Good, place the um, feet down on the mat, quite close to the sit bones, roughly stacked underneath your knees. Pick the arms up, fingertips towards the ceiling, Press the back of the arms into the mat. And as you press the back of the arms really energetically into the back, maybe you notice uh, that you're taking that into a slight back bend. So keep that activation. Press down the feet as well. And on your next inhale, lift the hips. Good. Hold there for a few breaths in your bridge pose. Keep pressing through the feet. Lifting the body from the uh, from the ground or pressing into the mat. Good. Exhale, lower back down, and we'll go through that a few more times. Inhale, lifting, and exhale, releasing. So 
Inhale, find your bridge. Exhale, release them down. Good. Inhale, find your bridge. Exhale, release them down. Keep pressing through the feet as you lift up. Inhale. Exhale, release. Good. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. And on this one, we're going to hold. So inhale, lift. And hold here. Maybe you release the hands. Maybe you walk the shoulder blades together and interlace them. Good. Wherever you are, just breathe. And really focus on driving those heels into the mat and lifting from the hips. Lifting the hips up. Good. When you're ready, release the hands, roll back down. Good. Left leg extends, right leg lifts towards the ceiling. You can reach for the, um, the shin, the calf, the back of the thigh, or maybe the big toe, but it is the morning. We tend to be a little bit stiffer in the morning, so don't judge where your body's at. From there, just flex the toes. Inhale, point both toes, so both feet pointing. Exhale, both feet flexing. Inhale, both feet pointing. Exhale, flex. Inhale, point. Exhale, flex. Hold it there for a few breaths. Really pressing that heel up towards the ceiling on that right leg. Good. Few more breaths. Good. When you're ready, place the left hand on the left hip and slowly take that right leg over to the right. You can use your arm for a little bit of support if you need to. You can always place the elbow down and create a little support for the leg. Good. Breathe in. Inhale back to centre. Think about drawing that navel down towards the mat as you start peeling your head and your upper body off the mat. Reach the arms forwards, hover that left leg, draw that navel down. Keep both legs flexed. Good. Breathing there for a few breaths. Really firing up that core, making a little bit of a dish shape with your body. Good. Swap legs. Left leg lifts up, right leg hovers. Keep that dish shape, keep the hands reaching towards that right foot as you draw that navel down. Few more breaths. Exhale, release. Good. Hands can come on the back of the shin, the calf, the hamstring. Exhale, flex both feet. Inhale, point the feet. Keep it going. A few more rounds at your own pace. Pointing and flexing. Good. Flexing both feet. Hold it there for a few breaths. You can like take your Take your toe or walk the hands up the legs. But do remember just to not judge your flexibility in the morning. We all wake up more stiff and we get looser throughout the day. So it's always really important to remember not to push yourself in your morning practice and to let go of those expectations that you may have on what your body's able to do. When you're ready, take that left leg over to the left. The right hand can come onto the right hip and create a little uh, brace to rest that leg in. Good, breathing there. Inhale, lifting up, back to centre. And then draw both knees in towards your chest. If it's available to you, maybe you rock a few times, then come all the way up to seated. Good, from there, we'll step into our first down facing dog. So just find your down dog. Spread your fingers nice and wide, press energetically through the hands, lifting the front of the hip bones up and back. Good, don't let the ribs sink down to the mat, try and lift the front. 
grab the ribs towards the back of the t-shirt. Good. A few more grabs. Remember, it's morning. It's probably our first down dog of the day. You don't want to take any wacky movements. Feel free. We're at home. No one's watching. Do what feels good. Good. When you're ready, you walk the feet towards the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, roll up to standing. Maybe the shoulders roll up to the ears. Roll them down. Good, we're going to move through a few lunge sun salutations. So just see how we get on. Inhale, reach up, rise tall. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge your hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, broaden the collarbones, press the chest forwards. Exhale, left leg steps back, drop that left knee. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms as you then frame that front foot. Step that foot back, plank pose. Inhale, hip. Exhale, drop the knees. Hinge the elbows, send the weight forwards as you lower all the way down. Good. Five of these. Inhale, lift up, cobra. Press through the hands, broaden the collarbones. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower back. Number three. Inhale, lift up, cobra. Exhale, lower. Number four. Inhale, lift the shoulders back and down, everyone. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, lift and hold. Good, keep pressing the hands into the mat, drawing the collarbone, um, drawing the shoulder blades down the back, broadening the collarbones. Look up slightly, keep the chin tucked, and then press all the way up, down facing dog. Good, inhale, right leg lifts, three legged dog. Exhale, step the right leg in between the hands, drop that left knee. Inhale, lift up, low lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms, frame that front foot, look forward, left leg lifts, step it to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Move down, inhale, rise up. Good, left leg, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, hands come down, right leg. Drop that right knee. Inhale, lift up, low lunge. Exhale, cactus the arms as you draw them down. Frame that front foot, step back, back pose, take a breath. Drop the knees, send the weight forward as you lower all the way down to the mat. Remember five of these. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, lower. Keep going with your own breath. Shoulders back and down, collarbones broad, press through the hands. Good. Inhale when you're ready, cobra, hold it there. Think about squeezing those elbows in, broad the collarbones, shoulders down, space between the shoulders and the ears. Keep the chin a little bit tucked as you look up. Exhale when you're ready, down the facing dog. Good. Inhale, left leg lifts, three legged dog. Step the left leg in between the hands, drop that right knee. Inhale, lift up, low lunge. Exhale, catch just the arms as you frame that front foot, look forwards. Right leg lifts, step it to meet the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Broaden the foot bend. Root down, rise up all the way to standing, arms reaching overhead. Exhale, hands come down. Good. Same again. This time we're going to interlace the hands behind the back just to really open up that heart and get ourselves nice and open, ready to receive the day ahead. Inhale, reach up, rise up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge your hips, forward, forward. Inhale, lengthen the halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down, left leg steps back, 
left knee drops. Inhale, reach up, low lunge. Exhale, drop the hands behind you, interlace the hands or grab onto the elbows. Press the hands behind you, open up that chest and the thigh. Nice and open, few breaths. Exhale, releasing down, frame up front foot. Step back, plank pose. Drop the knees, then the weight forwards, lower all the way down, with the collarbones nice and broad. Good. This time, hands come alongside your palms face down, five feet. Inhale, lift up, locus, and lift the feet, lift the hands, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Keep it going with the breath, inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Good, last one. Inhale, lift and hold. Good. Fingers really reaching towards the toes. Squeeze those arms together. Press through the feet. Lift from the back of the head. Good, nice, strong legs. Exhale, release and down. Inhale, lift up. Find your downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Exhale, step that right leg in towards the hands, drop that left knee. Inhale, lift up, low lunge. Exhale, release the hands behind you, interlace them. Press the hands away, chest open. Keep pressing those feet into the mat and zipping up that ball. Ready to receive the day ahead. Exhale, releasing down, lift that back knee, step the left foot to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Root down, rise up. Good, last side, left leg. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands come down, right foot steps back, drop that right knee. Inhale, lift up, low lunge. Exhale, release the hands, interlace them behind you or grab onto the elbows. Press the hands away, open that chest, keep the feet pressing into the mat, broaden the collarbones. Good. Exhale, releasing down, step the left foot back, plank toes. Take an inhale here, drop the knees, lower all the way down to the mat. Hands come alongside your body. So first of all, think about reaching the fingers towards the toes, opening up that chest, lift the feet, lift the hands. Exhale, lower. Four more times. I won't talk, I'll let you do it in your own pace. Good, last one, inhale, lift and hold. Think about reaching the fingers towards the heels, press the feet, open the chest, lift the back of the head. Good, feeling nice and strong. Exhale, release and down. Inhale, lift up, downward facing dog. Good, from there, inhale, left leg lifts, three legged dog. Step the left foot in towards the hands, drop that right knee. Inhale, lift up, low lunge. Exhale, release the hands down, interlace them behind you, press the hands away, open up that chest. Keep the feet pressing energetically down, keep that pause it up. Good. Exhale, releasing down, train that front foot. Lift that right knee, step to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Root down. Rise up. Good. Exhale, chair pose. Good. Hands can come in. When you're in chair, you really want to send the weight back through the heels. So almost imagine you can pick up your ten toes. Good. Pelvis is neutral. From there, start rounding down into the right leg. Step that left leg back. Find a warrior three. Good, in warrior three, pick up that chest slightly, almost as if you're going into a locus pose. Good, keep that core lifted. Think about moving the um, hips towards the ribs. 
keep that chest open. Good. Release the hands alongside you. See if you can lift up. Take a nice back bend here. So just lifting the body, lifting that leg as far as you can. Exhale, step back, chair pose. Good. Holding there for a few breaths. Start grounding down this time through the left leg. Can you start shifting your weight? Send that right leg all the way back. Find a warrior three. From there, think about hips and ribs moving towards each other, picking up that chest slightly. Good, like a locust. Perfect, breathing there. Bring the hands on the side you. Think about opening up that chest more. Can you take it into even more of a standing back bend? Good. Exhale, step back to the pose. Perfect. From there, see if you can take your chair nice and low. Release the hands down. Step back down. Good. Taking a few breaths here. We've moved quite a lot this morning. Really getting ourselves energised and ready for the day ahead. We'll take this moment in down dog. It's a bit of a reset, a reflection. Let the mind settle on the breath. Remember it's okay if the mind wanders. Just bring it back to the breath. Good. When you're ready, you rock the knees. And just lower all the way down to the belly. Good. From there, we bring the left hand onto our lower back, the right hand onto the back, oh sorry, onto the front of our head. So our forehead is on the right hand. From there, we're gonna lift up the left leg and the right arm and the head stay together as we lift up from that. Good. So left leg lifts, right arm and head lift. Give it a few more breaths. Keep pressing through that back foot. So you want that left leg to be nice and active. Good, a few more breaths. Exhale, lower down. Swap sides. Left hand comes underneath the head. Right hand on the lower back. From there, right leg is going to lift. So lift up that right leg, really press through the toes, you can flex the foot, point the foot, maybe you can it to somewhere between the two. Inhale, lift up the head, lift up the left arm. Oh, so left arm still on the head. Good, really, really useful way of strengthening the back of the body because our body, sort of, when we move, fires up in a diagonal pattern. So that's why we're strengthening our back this way. Exhale, release back down. Bring both arms um, alongside you, so cactus the arms basically. Elbows should be in line with the shoulders. And then from there, we're going to do the right side first. So pick up that right hand and step it about a hand's length in front. So the elbow is now forwards of the shoulder. Bring the left hand in line with the chest. Good. On that right side, think about drawing that shoulder blade down the back. And then from there, you can release the head down as you start turning onto your side. That left leg can come behind you as you're coming into a nice pec stretch. Good. Breathing there. You can come up onto the left fingertips if it feels good. Keep that shoulder blade reaching down the back on the right side. Try and keep the hips in line, so try not to stick the glutes out here. Keep that core zipped up. Good, when you're ready, release. Down, bring both arms back to cactus. Good, left hand this time, step to hand distance forwards. Right hand comes in towards the chest. On that left hand, make sure you're drawing that shoulder blade down and back. Roll onto the left side, the right leg hand comes as you breathe in a back stretch. A few more breaths. Really nice 
his toes were opening up, up that chest. Really nice way to start the day. Nice and open so that we're ready for the day ahead. Good. Releasing back down. From there, just slowly pull yourself up, ready to take child's pose. Walk the hands forwards. Allow the crown of the head to come down onto the mat. Allow the belly to soften. Allow the mind to settle. Allow the breath to settle. Good. From there, we'll find our way into our savasana. So you can just find your way down onto your back. It is the morning, so if you would rather start your day with a morning meditation or anything like that, feel free to take these moments seated. If not, extend the legs out on the mat. Let the feet roll out to the side. Keep the shoulder blades tucked in, palms face the ceiling. And just remember, to allow yourself this time. It's a really important, important pose in yoga. It's often one of the hardest yoga poses to do. So don't judge yourself if you start stirring here. Just remind yourself, this is your time to relax. Gently bring the awareness back into the body. You can wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. And take one big breath together. So take an inhalation in through the nose, open the mouth, sigh it all out. <sighs> Good. Reach the arms up overhead. Give yourself a really big stretch from the tips of the fingers to the tips of the toes. If it's comfortable, keep the eyes closed as you roll over onto the right side. And then press yourself up to a comfortable and seated position. Wherever you are, just bring the hands to heart centre. Take a pause. Practice gratitude um, for yourself, for your body. Maybe remembering to thank yourself for taking the time in your, in your morning or wherever you are through the day to set yourself up for your day in this way. Hopefully you feel the positive effects that this can have for you. When you're ready, we'll arrive softly back in the room to rub the hands together, create that lovely warmth for yourself. Place it over the eyes, blink the eyes open, look first to the hands. Slowly move the hands away back to heart centre. Namaste. Thank you all for practising with me and hopefully you have a really positive, um, positive mood to carry you through the day now. So thank you.